Welcome to your market update charts for the day. It's the 11th of April 2024. Mike Smith, senior analyst. I'll go markets to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Clearly, a big night last night. We had that hotter than expected US CPI pushing equity markets downwards. As expectations of the time of Fed rate cuts changed from June to September, prior to that number, we were a 65% chance of a rate cut in June. Afterwards, we're now down at 19%. So that obviously impacts on market sentiment. Data and earnings are in focus today also. And consequently, we're seeing a follow through not only in US futures, which are mildly lower in early Asian trading, but Asian markets also following that weak US lead. ASX is far from capitulating. It's trading down about two thirds of 1%. Materials helping as copper and other base metals seem to be holding up okay, despite that USD strength. European equity futures pointing to a softish open at this stage in the day. But of course, that could change as we approach the afternoon. US dollar index not surprisingly pushed higher after that CPI to breach February's high. Gold pulled back a little to 23.30 on USD strength, but essentially less than 1% pullback, which was quite a good performance for gold. A copper edged lower, but recovered to hold that 428 level. It's pausing in Asia so far. And oil edge higher again also. Bitcoin moved back upwards to retest 71,000. It's sitting there at this stage. And as we said, it's another significant day today. We've got China's CPI and Australian inflation expectations already out, which rose from last month, which isn't good news for the consumer, of course. We've got the ECB rate decision later and US PPI and weekly jobs this evening. So again, lots for the markets to digest as well as that impending earnings season ramp up that we'll see in the next few trading days. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. And we're going to start with PLS. Uh, lithium stocks are holding up okay today. And PLS is no exception. Uh, and we can see this move back over $4 uh, that we're testing right now. It's a key level. You can see back here, we tested this towards the back end of last year. Lots of price action previously, both Support when it was on the way down and resistance to try and push through it. Also, of course, we've got a 200 MA sitting there. So we're actually liking this for a potential move up to, in the first instance, around about this 436 level, be about an 8% increase from where we are right now, maybe even up to 440. We'll need to see some follow through. And again, that $4 is a really round number. So perhaps push through. 405 would be more compelling, but at this stage, it's worth keeping an eye on. Uh, we're looking at the Aussie US dollar in the Forex world. Uh, you can see that big drop following that CPI. We're looking at the 30 minute chart, which took us down to around about that 65 level to test. And then that's where it stopped. So, particularly with that inflation expectation numbers that's come out from Australia, I wouldn't be surprised to see this creep back up towards this pivot level again. So we're looking for a potential breach of 65.16 with a move up to 65.47. So around about a 30 pip move in the first instance. And then it'll be interesting to see whether we get the pause there. We did have a test of that level before that CPI number at the beginning of the week. So could we see it back up towards 65.88? Possibly. That I think that could be a little bit of a stretch, but certainly there looks to be 30 pips plus in what could be a high probability move. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.